Hey everyone, it's Nitish here. Welcome back to another exciting tutorial on React. Today we are diving into a crucial aspect of React development, which is protecting your roots. So whether you are building a small project or a larger scale application, understanding how to secure your public, private and admin roots is essential. Have you ever wondered how to keep certain pages in your React application visible only to specific users or maybe you have been thinking about implementing admin only access without compromising security well you are in the right place to find out before we jump in if you are new here make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications you don't want to miss out on the valuable content which is lined up for you now let's start with the basics what does it mean to protect a root in react simply put it's about controlling access to different parts of your application based on user permission. The React Router library plays a key role here and I will show you how to leverage its features effectively. In this video, we will discuss implementing public and private routes. Public routes are accessible to everyone like this one over here for the login component, while private routes like the dashboard and admin require user authentication and authorization. Here, I will guide you through creating a simple authentication flow using a very basic auth service and higher order components. First, let's walk through what is already there in this project and what is our requirement. So we have a basic flow for routing in our React application, which is for these three components, login, dashboard, and admin. But as you can see right now, these are all with public access. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. So this is the login page, which is publicly available. Now the dashboard is supposed to be available only for authenticated users who have logged in. But over here, the dashboard is also accessible without the user logging in. Similar to that, the admin route should be accessible only to admins. Now, how do we fix that? The way to fix that is to create higher order components which will control access for private and admin routes that we have available. Let me show you how we can do that. The first thing that I will do is I will create a new folder under components and I will simply call it root components. And now I will create three new folders over here. The first one is going to be public root and then the second one is going to be private root and you guessed it right the third one is going to be admin root all right now let's implement all three of these higher order components one by one so let's create a new file index.jsx for the public root now the public root is going to be simple we may even not need a public route, but for some kind of validations or, or, you know, data checking, we can have a higher order component for the public route as well. So const public route, let's return it as well from over here. And we are just going to return any children which are provided to this route. So yeah, that's pretty much everything that we need to do. Let's import or remove these import dependencies as well. Let's now save it. A similar to public root, I'm just going to create a new file in private root and let's just call it as index.jsx. Let's also create one for admin as well. So index.jsx. Now I'm just going to copy this from over here and then paste it and rename public to private. Now the private route is going to be different. We only have to render the children's if the user is authenticated. Otherwise we have to navigate or redirect to another publicly available component or route. In our case, it's the login component. So first what I will do is I will create a very basic auth service. So for that, I will simply create a new folder within SRC. So let's just call it as auth service and within this folder let's create a new file with the name index.js inside it i will create an object with the name auth so const auth equals to 
is user false so we will simply use this service to determine or you know to tell react if the user is logged in or not or if the user is an admin or not all right now let's just export default this auth from over here let's just save it close it so in the private route i am just going to import auth from i think i will have to give the complete path so let's go auth service and yeah that's pretty much it let's also import navigate from react router dom and yep it has fixed it for me so the first thing that we will do is we will check if the current user is logged in or not that can be done by simply checking if not auth dot is user if that's the case then we will simply return the navigate component with the prop two to where we want to redirect if it's not a logged in user so login to navigate otherwise we will simply return the children now similar to this we can provide the functionality for the admin root as well so let's just do that i'm just going to copy the private root component and let's just rename it to admin and this should be returned as well now things should be somewhat different over here if auth dot is user is true and auth dot is admin is also true then we will return the children otherwise we are going to return the navigate component with two prop pointing towards the uh, the login path i think i will have to use a forward slash over here as well and i think in the private route also so okay now when this is done all that is left to do is to use this higher order components in app.js and for that i'm just going to import them first so import public route and then import private and then import the admin admin root as well okay all right now to use them i will simply enclose these elements with the public private and admin root components wherever applicable so yeah let's just do that let's just copy and paste for login over here as well and for dashboard it's going to be the private private root actually so private root okay i guess i have to write the entire thing dashboard should be enclosed as a child and then finally for admin it's admin root so yep that's all we need to do now let's save it and now let's see if our code is working or not so as you can see over here it says this is the login page now let's try to access the dashboard and we are not able to access dashboard we are redirected back to login now let's try to access admin so let's now change the values in our auth service let's set is user to true and let's try to access dashboard now so now we can access dashboard now let's see if we are able to access the admin route or not no we cannot so it is right now redirecting to login page but because uh, we can check if the user is logged in or not when in the admin route if the user is not logged in then we can redirect to the login page otherwise we can redirect to the dashboard page or dashboard route that is something that you guys can do um, you know as an upgrade to this entire tutorial functionality now let's set the is admin to true as well so now i will try to access admin and now we can access admin root as well 
So guys, that was everything on protecting roots in React that this video has to offer. We covered public, private and admin roots, ensuring you have a solid foundation to build secure and robust React applications. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Your support means a lot and helps me create more content like this. Also, if you have any questions or suggestions, drop them in the comments below. This is Nitesh signing off. Keep coding and I will see you in the next video.